coming up next, it's the beautiful game at its finest. It's Arsenal against Barcelona. Good evening for you. We're back in uh, we're back in England again. We're back in London, in fact, for the Emirates Stadium for Arsenal against Barcelona. Another glamour game to end the first round of group matches. And this Kawani Legends Trophy. Sonny Adams on the near side. And there is the captain of Barcelona, Puyo, on the nearest the camera. And there we are, the teams out into the tunnel. And a great galaxy of stars here in London tonight for this final first, first phase uh, group match. Um, well, I should say the first round of group matches. And then, of course, there's another two to go. Now let's bring you the two lineups as both teams take the applause of a capacity crowd and uh, look at that, uh, two of the back for um, Campbell and Adams there, Pat Rice at right back um, and Heck got it um, left, Bastin and Rocastle on the wings and Henri and Van Persie up front and Marcel on look at that for a side, you look at that final three definitely, Messi of course, Galakis and uh, Cambula and Ronaldinho, Javi and Ronaldo and uh, uh, Ronaldinho I should say and um, of course Koeman and Puyol the two centre-backs and Koeman has got a very good free kick repertoire as well and myself and Chris are here at Highbury or the Emirates Stadium I should say um, but away we go Arsenal in red and white they're going to go from right to left Barcelona in the change shirt of yellow they're going to go from left to right in this first half and here's the blonde Messi forward again and uh, Ronaldinho dispossessing and a first touch for David Seaman Chris again is alongside me in this comedy box here for all the other games that we are going to be covering in this tunnel from now until the end. And Chris, uh, this is probably the biggest game of the first round of group games so far. Yeah, it is. Um, it's going to be a very entertaining game, I'm sure. It's uh, early starts says so. It's, I think there might. Well, we, these two teams play the idealistic football. Obviously, uh, it's a wonderful clash in terms of the football that's going to be played. So, uh, interesting to see Robin Van Persie starting for Arsenal. And here he is on the ball immediately. Good turn. Did he go down? Penalty! It had to be, I think. Puyol, the offender. And the referee not having any of the Barcelona protests. Well, there's a turn up for the books. Barcelona penalised for a penalty. Let's have a look at it again, Chris. Penalty or not? Uh, penalty. <laughs> he just bundled him over in the box. Definitely. And, uh, well, well, Van, I mentioned Van Persie and well he's, he's made a difference early on who's going to take it Thierry Henry of it's course Thierry Henry from the penalty spot 1-0 what a penalty that was and the Emirates goes wild and Arsenal take the lead Thierry Henry cool as you like from the penalty spot double trouble for Barcelona there Van Persie quite rightly winning the penalty and Henry bearing it with such a prong Arsenal take the lead at the Emirates against Barcelona. Yeah, I think that's a fairly blatant penalty and a well, keeper went the right way. Just uh, if he went low, he would have saved it perhaps. Although well, Henri did bury it in the corner, so it's a good penalty and uh, early goal to get us started. Brilliant. So one 0 for Arsenal that penalty. Quite rightly given for a foul on Van Persie, but the naked eye did look at penalty from where me and Chris were sitting. But I tell you what, it's a great start for Arsenal, who will be probably second favourite against this bottom. And the side is David Seaman with a really good save there. Keeps Arsenal in front. And here's Cliff Bastin to get it away for Arsenal. Of course, a lot so of history we? between these two teams. We're sitting here at the Emirates Stadium, but uh, the last game, the last season of Highbury, these two played each other in the Champions League final in 2006, of course. And then Jan Zleman getting sent off. Sol Campbell in the yes, Arsenal defence was the uh, goal scorer for Arsenal. Yes, but uh, Belletti, of course, getting the winner that night in Paris and uh, breaking Arsenal hearts with it. As Messi chips that in. Oh, good save from Rivaldo by David Seaman. Well, he's been required in a couple of occasions in the first 10 minutes to spot Arsenal going in front. To make a couple of really contributing saves. Merson. Arsenal just need to calm down and just play their natural game because at the moment Barcelona do try to take it to teams and that is always a worry I suppose. 
Most of the game. Nice ball to Van Percy. Of course, let's uh, need to calm down. Yeah, let's not let's not forget. Of course, we we failed to mention Thierry Henry. Obviously, eligible for both sides, but uh, elected to pick Arsenal. Yeah, it could be a crucial moment in that particular battle. Did Henry should have gone rejoined Barcelona, not to Arsenal, but uh, here is Henry now up up well up for this one. It's Van Percy who certainly had plenty to say for himself. Can he? Oh, he just needed to get that ball in better. And it, Man having 2-0 to Arsenal. Rocastle now. To Van Persie back to David Rocastle. Rocky they used to call him. And there's a shot! Wide of the target this time from Robbie Van Persie. Good play from Rocastle here. And that's just and just wide of course there from Van Persie. Uh, just a word about Rocky Rocastle. He died 20 nearly 18 years ago now unfortunately he was only in his late 30s but uh, a real football in God in his time at Arsenal playing also for Manchester City as well amongst other clubs oh Leeds United I should say amongst other clubs real Arsenal legend though yes well through the power of uh, through the power of video games he is here with us along with Johan Cruyff and various others Yes, indeed, and uh, of course David Cooper, who died at a very young age as well in his Rangers, where uh, played for Rangers in this tournament, he died at the same age as Rocastle, in fact. George Best as he well. He was a real best as well. Let's not forget him and all that. But anyway, let's uh, let's get back to this game, shall we? And uh, one goal ahead, Arsenal. The Barcelona nuts always showing on one or two occasions that they are a threat, but here's Henri, who is a big threat. But he can't get on the end of that ball at time. He's almost dispossessed Sherry as if he didn't exist. Albert Ferrer, who also had a spell at Chelsea. Messi hasn't gone into the game at all, Chris, which is a little bit worried for Barcelona. But wait a moment, here is Van Persie. Away from Puyo! Good save! Henri going in! And that was an absolute golden opportunity for RVP to make it 2-0, Chris, and he didn't take it. He didn't. That, that could be a big moment in the game. You know, the difference between going 2-0 up. You know, Barcelona will still be feeling like they're, they've got plenty of time to get back into this game and take the lead themselves. Yes, indeed. But well, we're just saying prior to that, I was trying to get the question across to you, Chris, that uh, Messi's been totally non-existent already in this game. Well, a lot, the play's been going down, a lot of the play has been going down this right-hand side, so uh, it's, it's not been helping when he's been playing on the left. So, uh, and it doesn't uh, help his cause when people like Toby Adams are not giving any wing away at the back at the moment and David Seaman making some inspiring saves. That's, uh, Puyo now for Barcelona. All, all the, all the uh, legendary players in terms of you know the best players ever discussion. Uh, you know, Messi's the last one to be involved. Ronaldinho should argue, I think, could uh, could be arguing in that in that contest as well. So uh, yes, both both of them have a chance to showcase. So far, all of those all of those candidates have been on the losing side. Yes, and a lot of them have, including Ronaldo, Pelé being one of them. I'm not sure if um, Maradona Mar 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 would just come on the right side, although his team won against Manchester United, not him especially. All but Maradona have won a game, uh, lost games. Sorry. As the header comes in, and that's a good save. David Seaman, that was a really classy save, but Messi now has possession. The ball back, but uh, can't find a, a yellow shirt in the middle. David Seaman making his third meaningful save, and we've only had 25 minutes, but here's Ralph EP at the other end. Robin Van Persie, that's his name. Pierre forward, Henri! How has he not scored? What a chance. How has he not scored? This, this play from Robin Van Persie, absolutely skins the left back that ball into the box is, is brilliant Vieira lays it on a plate you would have bet your house on Henri scoring that you'd have bet your house you'd have bet your family fortune you'd have bet anything your car but he didn't well you lost it you, if you had you'd have and lost that, it all and because and this is why you shouldn't gamble because he missed and you would have lost everything so don't gamble Pete <laughs> yes gamble responsibly if you are having a flutter we can't we don't encourage gambling but uh, on uh, Mike Clark's channel or my channel for that matter by the way so we never encourage gambling like most people do and that's why the FA got rid of uh, Lab Brooks as a, uh, as a sponsor last year with all the troubles that have been going on in the real life 
Yeah, they play quite right to do so. Anyway, back to this tournament, and uh, at the moment, Arsenal comes uh, are really in charge here. Oh, that's just as I say, that Messi has popped up with a fortuitous equaliser. David Seaman didn't have a price, and Messi, who's been quiet for most of this first half, well, rather fortuitously maybe, has just struck one back for Barcelona. It's 1-1 at the Emirates, and David Seaman can count himself a ton unfortunate. 1-1. One, one. Well, we were just saying, he, he's been very quiet, and the ball goes to the left for, for, a, for a few moments, and he's involved, and he scores by ending up in the middle. I'll tell you what, that's a cracking finish. He hasn't Maybe got much I didn't to wait for there. Shot. Well, from the first angle, it looked as if it was fortuitous, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe I was doing him a disservice, maybe, Chris. I would say so. I think it's a brilliant finish myself. It's, uh, from, fir from first look, obviously, it can look a little bit like that, but uh, the replay, I think, shows how good a finish it really was. And we're level again. Well, in my defence, Chris, it's easy to be proved wrong with 23 different television camera angles. But uh, having said all that, it was a great finish, as you say. And maybe I was probably a little bit hasty to uh, maybe not give him too much credit. But it is a great finish, so 1-1. One, one, and uh, Messi was quiet for most of it. He's certainly not quiet now. Here's runner Rivaldo Brava. Barcelona starting to take over. Rivaldo shot Seaman just hooking it away. Couldn't take no chances, and it's a faster throw. And Arsenal all of a sudden having taken the game to Barcelona and now being pegged back, which is quite a worry now for Arsenal. Henri can't beat Xavi that time. Albert Ferrer now Rivaldo rather. Henri, oh that's a poor ball. Just didn't look. Here's uh, Koeman. Towards Rivaldo that time. Good doing terrifically well and uh, finding uh, oh he was fouled there uh, quite conclusively there forward one since gone and then oh that's a really daft challenge there bit unnecessary think, that uh, well a lot of people would argue Chris that was a yellow card offence and I have to say I would err, I would err on that uh, side of things looked a yellow card it was late it was about two two seconds after the ball had gone He gets away with it, just a free kick. Ferrer to Skolakis. Kaboom was the man who made the challenge incidentally and he's on the ball now. Maybe he should have a yellow card against his name. Instead he's finding Rivaldo. Still Rivaldo. Space opens up for the shot, Ronaldinho! And he scored against David Seaman again. He did it in 2002 in that World Cup quarter-final. And he's repeated a feat here at the Emirates tonight. It's a terrific goal by Ronaldinho. And Barcelona, who were trailing 1-0 in this game, have come back and now lead two goals to one with ten minutes of the first half left. Well, we mentioned out of uh, all the uh, world's greatest ever players, uh, the two people that potentially could, well, could arguably, should arguably be on that list, Ronaldinho and Messi, have uh, both cropped up with, uh, with a goal each. And we're not even in the second half yet. That's that uh, is a brilliant finish as well. Yes, there's no arguing about that one, and the celebration tells the story. He's beaten David Seaman again. This time Seaman didn't have a chance, although, and I don't think he needs to be criticised because the finish was just so accurate and so acute. You can't argue with that, I suppose. And it's uh, also from a very poverty position of now find themselves two goals to one down, but there's still a long time left for them to get back into the game. Plenty of time. Still got the whole of the second half to go, yeah? Yes, indeed. Sergi. Five minutes of this first half dial to go. See a little fortuitous there, perhaps. Sergi now takes over. Messi. Why well, one challenge from Vieira and then another from Moore Castle. And then plays the ball back and uh, gives possession away. But Ronaldinho takes over. Here's Messi. Good tackle there by Adams. There's the shot. Good effort. But David Seaman right behind the shot. With Bastin now, who once held the all time scoring record for 70 years before Ian Wright took it off him in 97. And then Henri, about 10 years later, took it off uh, Ian Wright himself. Well, 
Ian Wright's on the bench, so there's uh, plenty of goals for him. Yes, and um, Wright, he wasn't um, afraid of showing his uh, true course for Arsenal when he needed to. He's scored a lot of goals, he scored nearly 200 goals for the club. And the flag has stayed down this time. Surely this time is Van Persie's in there. Uh, chance to shine, but Puyol somehow has got back and swept the ball away. Maybe Van Persie's lack of pace there did for him there, Chris. Should have, should have well, kept his head. You say lack of pace, Puyol wasn't exactly the fastest guy in the world, was he? He should have shot earlier, Van Persie. He thought he had, thought he had more time than he did. There might be another chance here, possibly, but Henri's a bit isolated, perhaps. And it showed there. But uh, Arsenal not finished yet. We are in the last couple of minutes of the first half. Short to Bastin. Now Paul Merson. Van Persie. Well, Castle! Good try and a fantastic save there from the bottom of the goalkeeper. And Arsenal, all oh, for their endeavours there, get a throw. But they're still in the final third of the field. Merson. Van Persie. Now Roe Castle. That's a good ball, Henri! Good save, and Puyol gets it out. Arsenal so close to actually how, how equalising. How have they not equalised? Well, that is one of life's great mysteries. One in minutes at the end of the first half. That's a foul, surely. No, the referee said no. Looked very illegal challenge to me. The referee will be credited with a uh, brave decision to give a penalty should have given a free kick there and now Barcelona at the other end trying to pounce on that with Sergi we played the one minute and we played 30 seconds over that I think he's going to allow this attack from Messi but uh, he's run out of ideas and Seaman all booted away and that should be the half time whistle and it's possible free kick there not given but uh, Barcelona have come back well from an early setback when they gave a penalty away where they, can, where they fouled off AP and then Henri blasted it in but then back came Messi with a super shot and then Ronaldinho with a shot on a turn on the edge of the penalty area David Seaman had no chance for both of them Arsenal should have equalised on a couple of occasions but um, goalkeeper was well saved and maybe Van Persie was guilty there and missing two goal test chances they could have had a free kick there on the edge of the area but the referee waved it away 2-1 Barcelona lead what a great first half we've had here Chris it's been terrific. Um, Arsenal should have scored more. They should have scored from open play. Uh, but Robin van Persie been having two good chances and just not taking them. Uh, Barcelona have been playing at their best, I think. They've been playing some terrific football. Messi and Ronaldinho having them on the pitch together is just a dream in itself, let alone the rest of them. Um, we've had some good football on display. Plenty of chances. Uh, three goals, obviously. And uh, the goalkeeper's been pretty good as well, David Seaman and... Uh, the Barcelona keeper have had uh, some some good stuff uh, thrown at them, but they've uh, responded really well, and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's going to be an intriguing second half. I'm sort of breathless at the end of the first half, but we've still got another 45 minutes of this to go. The team's now coming out, and a substitution, I believe, Ian Wright is going to come on for Robin Van Persie. That's what we're hearing in the commentary position, and he and and Wrighty now takes his place on the field as we get this second half underway. No changes incidentally from the Barcelona eleven. So, it's as you were for them, but that one change, Robin Van Persie playing for those missed chances, now replaced by the ever willing Ian Wright. As Messi goes forward now in the early stages of the second half, also under, mind you now, going towards the right in the second half, to where their supporters are based, and of course Arsenal going towards the left-hand side. Well... Arsenal have, def have got their three record goal scorers on the pitch, so uh, you would hope that there would be a response in the in the in the wardrobe somewhere. Yep, yeah, or as the Americans say, closet. But uh, here's um, Ferreno. Good doing well. Yeah, cool again. Getting back to David Seaman under an awful lot of pressure. One has to say. Merson to Bastin. Back to Paul Merson once again. Now Ian Wright. That's a nice ball. Henri on the way. Needs support though. Wright was there. So too was Hapgood. Henri will, will almost got there first. Five minutes coming in the second half. Still nothing really in it. Only one goal in the game. Still 2-1. Little chip forward. 
on green is there and a throw so what do you think Arsenal really need to do as James replaces Mercer for the second half Chris what does he need to do well they they just need to give Henri and uh, Ian Wright obviously they haven't really had the chance to give Ian Wright some supply considering he's only just come on but they need to get some good supply to their strikers because they've had two good chances yes but other than those two chances um, they haven't really created much so midfield's got to step up a bit and give the strikers a bit of supply indeed and uh, again Bramalitz who made some terrific saves in that first half has rolled it out and maybe Arsenal should be uh, trying to close down the shocked uh, clearances from Barcelona's goalkeeper Messi's just on side good skills chance here for Kubalak has to turn there's the shot deflected and down for the corner Rougher control again by Messi showing his uh, skills there. There was the effort and uh, just wide in fact. Sol Campbell getting in the way. Yeah, Sol Campbell left. I should have said deflected wide in fact. Ronaldinho with the corner then. 2 1 is the score. And it missed everybody inside that area. And in fact, it goes for a throw to Arsenal right by the near corner quadrant. Good to take. Fasting with a good chest control. That good again. Ten minutes of the second period have elapsed and uh, Henri's on his way. Bastin. Ray back to Bastin. Good football again. Have good is onside. Set back up for Rocastle. And a good save again by Ramartz. Arsenal starting to put one or two things together, Chris. Yeah, they need to keep doing that. The chances will come, and they've got their, like I said, they've got th their three record sc scorers on the pitch. So uh, you know, if you give them the opportunities, they're gonna they're gonna gobble up those chances. They've just got to make them. And they've still got time, just over half an hour to go. So still bags of time left for Arsenal to get something out of it. Get an equaliser, which would certainly tighten up things in the group, considering that uh, Celtic and Inter Milan drew three all last night. Here's Kambula. That good. Oh, I almost he almost succeeded in keeping that one in play as well, which would have been even special for them. Uh, Stoichkov and Sammy Leto come on for Kambula and Skoskis. I, I can't get the pronunciation right. I'm sorry about that, folks. This is a short throw this time. Rush legs always going to make the difference on Ray now to Ian Wright. Wright does well, almost back, finds his old mate Rocky Rocastle. And this ball back to Ramalitz again. Sergi. Uh, Messi again. Sergi. Ronaldinho again. Eto. Shot deflected, kept in by Arsenal. Pat Rice has won the throw. Vieira. Good ball towards Ian Wright. And that's a nice ball. Henri now up against Kuman. And he's away from Kuman, but not against Puyo, who took the ball cleanly. According to the referee, anyway. Arsenal fans wanted the three kick. I don't know whether Henri's still down on the floor. But at the other end, we've got Messi, but he's tackled as well. And that was quite fair. On Reeves, okay, by the way. Bastin doing well. On Reeves. Has to hold up the play and try and bring uh, James into the game. That's his first touch, but now Rocky Rocastle. Ian Wright. Rocastle again. That's a good ball. On Reeves almost. On the end of it, still Arsenal pouring forward with Rocastle Bastin chipping that forward away by Puyo. Ball to James once again. He's making one or two things happen in that midfield area. But a space here, and Ian Wright might get on the end of it. Not this occasion. James though, Arsenal still going. Rocastle though losing out. 
Ronaldinho takes over, there's a pass out of play on Tumbling, I think it might have been Messi over on the far side. Rocasso again. That Vieira now, can Arsenal find something in these last 20 minutes, grab a point from this game, it wouldn't be a disgraceful result that's for sure, there's no disgrace here for Arsenal at the moment. They're having a real go here. Stoichkov though for Barcelona. Eto. And now Rocastle. No foul, Ian Wright. Now Messi. Now it's the fans begging for the referee to give something. Xavi to Ronaldinho. Albert Ferrer. Eto chaps it in, Messi's in behind, but good defending there by Sol Campbell. And a yellow card to Pat Vieira there. Well what happened there, Chris? I didn't see anything that was untoward. Oh it was the opportunity it was the incident with Messi, the wall. Bit of a low blow with the knee that one from Vieira. Well, we've seen worse challenges in other games, so it's haven't gone unpunished. You know, she's gone unpunished. That is inconsistent refereeing, although the decision is probably about right. Brady on for Bastin. This uh, magical Messi. PK has also come on you know, for Ferrer. PK is also on, as I say, for, for Albert Ferrer in, a, in an unusual position of right back. So something maybe for uh, Arsenal to exploit down there, left hand side. What of an hour to go. I have to say, the one that downward trend in the competition has been the standard of refereeing. There's some decisions that have been given right and some decisions have been given wrong. It depends on what sort of referee you actually get in this tournament. Here's Henri. Well, considering it's a worldwide competition, you're going to get referees from all over. Well, here's a chance now for Brady, an Irishman. His cross was very poor. Eto, another substitute. And here's Messi, could tie it up. No, shot got a little nick off uh, Pat Rice and into David Seaman's path. Now Vieira again. Pat Rice. Real castle to right. Good tackle there by Sergi. In fact, it wasn't, it was a three kick, in fact. Taken quickly by Arsenal, Vieira. Back to Henri, wanting to go on with it quickly, Vieira again, good control, and a good ball in! I thought for a moment, oh, they looked a foul there on Vieira, and the referee again, not giving the decision, I think that was another poor decision from the referee, and now Eto at the other end could really settle in now for Barcelona, but the ball runs, runs towards Tony Adams, and that attack peters up. Was it a three kick on the box again for Arsenal, perhaps? Hard to say from up here. It looked a free kick from first glance, but referee was a bit closer, so it's ultimately down to him. But I think it was myself, but it's hard to say, like I said, from all the way up here. That one maybe as well. Look, yes, that looked another like another three kick. The referee has got to make some I have to say he's made some very inconsistent cuts calls. Here's Vieira. James, Vieira. Six minutes for Arsenal to at least uh, get a level and uh, save themselves a point, which would tighten things really much in the group. Brady to Henri, but Koeman is tracking back there, but he's um, now the danger for him. If he loses possession, he's out of position and he's lost it. And Vieira must get this forward quickly. There's still five minutes left to play. And Henri now, and Ian right now, can he stretch this Barcelona defence? It might break for Henri, but no, it's going to break for Puyo, sadly for Arsenal. But I tell you what, um, it's been a very closely contested game tonight. And even though Arsenal will go probably the wrong side of the result, maybe, they're still very much alive in this tournament. Here's Ronaldinho. Eto, Ronaldinho. Stoichkov, good save from David Seaman, it was low down, he had to make the save, and he did, and I think that was a smart save. Two minutes to go, Arsenal now need to, need to come up with something now in these last couple of minutes now, if they're going to snatch a point from this game. They deserve something for their efforts. 
Barcelona have just been that little bit uh, cool in the defence that's uh, has, has uh, really given them surely what's going to be three points and we've only got one out in minutes so not much time for Arsenal just 10 seconds literally and I think that's probably going to be it indeed it is Barcelona just nicking it 2-1 it was very close in the end but Arsenal will feel a bit unfortunate they took the lead for a penalty which was rightly given for fouling RVP Robbie Van Persie and then the equaliser came from Lionel Messi and then Ronaldinho scored the winner but Arsenal can frankly think themselves rather unfortunate they didn't score more than one goal themselves they were worthy of a point but Barcelona take all three back to the new camp and your thoughts and before we give you your thoughts on the game Chris your man of the match oh my man of the match um that's hard to hard to say um I don't really know if I'm out of the match. I, yeah, I'll, I'll have to come up with that in a minute. But um, in terms of the your thoughts on the game, though. Yeah, the, in terms of the game, um, well, Arsenal, I think, need to look at that man, Robin Van Persie, as to why he didn't score two goals today because he had two glaring opportunities. That one as well from Henri. More than enough chances to score, but just didn't take them. And uh, well, when you've got players like Leonel Messi, Ronaldinho, and the rest. Um, you know they're gonna they're gonna take chances that they're gonna make something out of nothing, and they did this on, the, on on this one really. That was kind of something out of nothing, and then uh, Ronaldinho's goal, which was fantastic in itself. But Barcelona, this was a rather ruthless performance, similar to uh, Chelsea's performance and uh, Bayern Munich's, where they they took the lead and then they just kept the ball, didn't let Arsenal have it, and without the ball you can't score. And uh, Barcelona, you know, they got the job done. Hard place to go, the Emirates. It's never been easy for Barcelona, but they f they find ways to get victories. And uh, when you've got players like Lionel Messi and Ronaldinho and such, all in, all in their prime, um, they're going to be a very tough side to beat. And so uh, Arsenal, you know, they can consider themselves unlucky that they haven't gotten anything from this game. But uh, more importantly, there's a lot of pressure on them now because they've lost the first game. They've now got to play... Um, you know the the two other teams who drew, and they'll be feeling a lot happier with with what's happened because now they've got to go up against Arsenal, who will be desperate for three points. Because if Arsenal don't win their next game, they're going to be out. There, sure, there would surely be no way that they'd be able to get through the group. So Arsenal now have, uh, you know, they've had. I think they had the better chances than Barcelona tonight. Have uh, landed themselves in 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 some trouble going into the next two games. So all the pressure on Arsenal and Barcelona. Well, they've just gone and done their job. They've now got to just get one more result, I think, and they'll be through. Indeed. And man of the match, quickly. Well, the game's given it to Lionel Messi, but that's a typical goal scorer. Um, I'm going to go for... I'm going to say... Oh, it's really tough. Rowcastle. I think he uh, influenced Rocky the game Rowcastle, quite yeah. a bit. Did, did some good link-up play, had a few cracking shots. It's just... Uh, you know, it just wasn't Arsenal's night, unfortunately. So that's who I'm going to give it to. Well, a little bit of comfort. Well, thank you very much, Chris, for your thoughts tonight here at the Emirates. Well, a bit of consolation there personally for David Roadcastle. I have to say he did have a terrific game, and I would concur with Chris's assessment of that man in a match. But it's all over here at the Everett Stadium, and as um, Chris rightly points out, Arsenal have a mountain to climb. It's not beyond the realms of possibility of them still qualifying, perhaps, but it makes it doubly difficult. But if they're playing like they did tonight and against the other two teams, then it's not beyond the rounds of possibility they could still qualify so uh, Arsenal fans should not give up hope yet but uh, Barcelona take the three points back to the new camp and just about deserved so a bit of luck they needed to win the game but sometimes in tournament football you need that bit of luck and that probably come now concludes the first round of group games we'll be joining you next time for the second round of group games starting with group A once again but until then, from Chris and myself here at the Amherst Stadium, a very good night to you all, and we'll see you for the second round of group games very soon.